Hi, welcome to my video tutorial on solved previous university questions on calculation of amount due to policyholders. Myself, Dr. Abbas Patoli, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambur. Introduction This topic is included in the chapter Accounting for Insurance Companies for BCom Degree, University of Calgary. This is a frequently repeated topic in the university examinations over the years. In the slides to come, I will be explaining meaning of life insurance, meaning of life assurance fund, meaning of valuation balance sheet and solve the previous university questions on calculation of amount due to policyholders. Two frequently asked form of question are included in this video. What is life insurance? Section 2 of Indian Insurance Act 1938 defines life insurance as life insurance business is the business of effecting upon human life. It is a long term contract by which insurer, that is insurance company, in consideration of premium agrees to pay a certain sum of money either on the death of the insured that is policyholder or the expiry of specified period whichever happens earlier meaning of life assurance fund it is also known as life insurance fund or simply life fund it represents the accumulated reserve fund which is created from the excess of income over expenditure every year. In other words, the excess of income over expenditure of a life insurance business is accumulated as a reserve and this is called life assurance fund. Valuation balance sheet. It is a statement prepared by Life Insurance Corporation to ascertain the surplus or deficit in its operation, that is profit or loss. This is the comparison between the life assurance fund on a particular date with the net liability disclosed by actuarial valuation, that is fair value of insurance liabilities by an independent agency on that date. Only life insurance companies can prepare valuation balance sheet. It is prepared to ascertain true profit or loss of a life insurance company. Now, amount due to policyholders. According to Section 28 of LIC Act 1956, 95% of the surplus must be distributed to policyholders in the form of bonus in respect of with profit policies. The balance 5% may be utilized for such purposes as determined by the central government. The calculation of amount due to policyholders is explained in the coming slides with examples from previous university question papers. Here is a solved problem. Question. A life insurance company gets its valuation made once in every two years. Its life assurance fund on 31st December 2005 at rupees 55 lakh 55,000 before providing for 55,000 being the shareholders dividend for 1986. Its actuarial valuation on 31st December 2005 disclosed a net liability of 35 lakh. An interim dividend of rupees 1 lakh was paid to policyholders during the previous two years. You are required to show 1. Valuation balance sheet, 2. Net profit for the period, 3. Distribution of surplus. Now, come to the solution. First, we can prepare valuation balance sheet. This is the format of the valuation balance sheet. The credit said by life assurance fund 
it is given in the question that is 55 lakh 55,000 in the debit side to net liability this is the fair value of insurance liability as determined by the actual valuation it is also given in the question that is 35 lakh so the balance is in the debit side so it represents the surplus of the insurance company that is 20 lakh 55,000 now calculation of net profit surplus as per valuation balance sheet 20 lakh 45,000 add interim bonus interim bonus is paid during the period this is given in the question 1 lakh so the profit available become 21 lakh 55,000 then less dividend dividend proposed for the year this 1986 is given wrongly in the question dividend proposed for the year that is 55,000 so the net profit now available is for distribution is 21 lakh now distribution of surplus net profit available for distribution is 21 lakh bonus to policy holders as per LIC Act 95 percentage of the net profit should be distributed as bonus to policy holders so 95 percentage of 21 lakh is 90 lakh 95,000 less interim bonus already paid that is 1 lakh so the balance amount now due to policy holders is 80 lakh 95,000 here is another question it is asked in March 2004 the life fund of a life assurance company was rupees 86 lakh 48,000 on 31st March 2002 the interim bonus paid during the intervaluation period was 1 lakh 48,000 the periodic and actuarial valuation determined the net liability at rupees 74 lakh 25,000 surplus brought forward from the previous year was rupees 8 lakh 50,000 the directors of the company proposed to carry forward rupees 9 lakh 31,000 and to divide balance between the shareholders and policy holders in the ratio of 1 piece to 10. Prepare valuation balance sheet and ascertain net profit. Now first we can prepare the valuation balance sheet. This is the format of balance, valuation balance sheet prepared by insurance companies. So on the set side by life assurance fund given in the question 86,48,000. On the liability side to net liability that is actuarial valuation that is 74 lakh 25,000 given in the question so the balancing figure it is in the debit side that means it is represent profit that is 12 lakh 23,000 now calculation of net profit surplus as per valuation balance sheet is 12 lakh 23,000 add interim bonus it is given in the question 1 lakh 48,000 Add surplus at the beginning that is opening balance of profit 8 lakh 50,000. So now the net profit is 22 lakh 21,000. Now distribution of the surplus net profit available is 22 lakh 21,000. Less surplus to be carried forward to the next year that is 9 lakh 31,000. So the remaining profit is 12 lakh 90,000. Out of this 10 by 11 share is due to policy holders as per given in the question that is shareholders share is 10 out of the 11 so 12 lakh 90,000 into 10 by 11 it is 11 lakh 72,727 less interim bonus already paid 1 lakh 48,000 so the final amount or balance amount due to policy holders now is 10,24,727. Thank you for watching. You can reach me at abbaswatoli at the rate yahoo.com.